Hey y'all, this is Troy, and I wanted to bring you this video weeks ago, but I couldn't. And the reason why is because this right here is a pen that I had acquired, and I had to wait to be able to gift it to my bride. Uh, her birthday is actually within a couple of days of Mother's Day every year. So, you know, we have a couple of gift-giving days in there. And uh, she had kind of oohed and awed at this particular pen when she saw it online. Heinz Handcrafted Pens. You know, Jim Heinz. We've become friends over the years. I've bought a lot of pens from Jim. Uh, my son has bought some with his own money. My wife has a bunch of Jim Heinz pens. His name has gotten to had a, have a good reputation over the years. For those of you who uh, subscribe to Pen World, you'll see that um, he's always been nominated here the past several years uh, for some of the awards for the best. And as such, Jim is recognized by some pen vendors. You know, Drum Ghouls pens out of Houston, Texas. Drum Ghouls, I see them at pen shows. You know, they've always got a nice big table and we go to see uh, the stuff that they have. Well, I managed to find this one. As a matter of fact, let me show you the video that Drum Ghouls showed about this particular pen. Good morning, everybody. It's Michael here at Drum Ghouls. Wanted to show off our new exclusive pens with Heinz Pens Company. As you can see, I've got it in my hands here. This is a 15-piece limited edition that we made exclusive for our event today. Uh, it's a beautiful piece here. As you can see, it's got this amazing purple and white acrylic. And at the bottom here, you can see we've intermixed a little bit of turquoise to match the metal gripping section with the turquoise, as well as the nib and clip, as well as the finial turned out really really great these are like i said very limited only 15 pieces so get them while you can we're going to have them here today at the show you can come check out all the ones that we've got you can pick the one that's your favorite color um, and they're also going to be available on the website after the show next week uh, so you can check them out there if we have any left thanks so much guys we have some great inks to go along to match the colors as well now see my wife hadn't seen that video she'd only seen some of the pictures of it and she oohed and odd so i said well she likes it that just might be something that i want to get her for her birthday and we did so here you go it's got a sticker on it drum ghouls heinz an exclusive so the model b24 and one of the things that jim does with his uh, numbers I, I think that the b represents a girth and the 24 is a size um, I probably have some graphics somewhere that shows that kind of stuff. Uh, but 19, uh, I mean, 2023, rather, uh, limited edition. There are only 15 of these pens made. And this is number 11 out of 15 with a medium nib, which is what I picked up. Uh, their exclusive pen, the Amethyst, the Serene Amethyst. So it's an exclusive you were only going to find this model at Drum Ghouls. I'm sure you'll find a lot of other excellent pens. Matter of fact, if you go to Jim Hines' website, uh, you can use my discount code TROY for 15% off your order. One of the things I noticed about this particular uh, pen is, it cut, before I even got, got to the pen itself, it comes in a different sort of box. Um, you know, over the years, uh, Jim has had some metal boxes and he's had some uh, different style boxes. Uh, lately, I've been getting these ones from him, where they would be like a, a vinyl with a magnetic closure on them, with his logo on them. This one happens to be one of Matthew's pens uh, sitting here in this particular box. I think you're going to see more of this pen coming up, because I'm finally trying to get Matthew motivated. Um, but, you know, another pen that I had gotten uh, from Heinz. Matter of fact, this is another one uh, that I got from my wife, and it came in a, in a box similar to that other one with a sleeve on it. So I don't know if Jim has changed his packaging permanently, this sort of thing. We'll see, because I'm going to see Jim at several different pen shows coming up. Um, I'm trying to remember if he's going to be in St. Louis or not, but I'm going to be at the St. Louis Pen Show coming up at the end of June. I'm going to be at the Raleigh Triangle Pen Show coming up within the next week or two, and I'm going to probably see him up in D.C. at the D.C. show. So let's go ahead and open up this box here. It's just a nice cardboard box. And for the Serene Amethyst. You pull it out and he has this little card here with some of the, the care instructions, especially for colored nibs. Jim is one of the few people who actually offers colored nibs and, and he actually offers these with a lot of his exclusives. Uh, Jim 
I don't think you're going to find his nibs and talking to him uh, through different distributors. As a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that a lot of other companies have asked him to supply them with his nibs. Well, he does that process on his own. And it's something that he doesn't want to just give away or just offer for sale. He wants it to be an exclusive with some of his partners, and I can understand that. So, this is the pen that my wife thought was absolutely gorgeous, and I don't blame her. As a matter of fact, Starry Night Resins, um, Jim and Elise together, uh, uh, they work very closely. And, uh, you know, I love Jim and Elise. Uh, have a good relationship with them both. And uh, Elise has really done well with a lot of her resins. So you open it up, and this is the color scheme that you've got. This nice teal here, or um, you know, the serene amethyst with the purple, and then together with that, uh, that teal color. And you know, he's got that on the clip. Very nicely done. A nice little dome at the top with the Heinz Pen logo right there. And like a kind of a button there for the finial. And a nice, beautiful clip. Nicely done. And then, as you pick it up, one of the first things my wife said when she first picked up this pen, she goes, ooh, it's heavier than I expected. And that is because, in the past, primarily, Jim has been working with acrylics or um, Ebonites, for instance. I will show you one of my absolute favorite pens that I have of Jim's. Uh, and this was a, a, a German Ebonite that he had created, and I snatched it up because Ebonite, for me, is possibly my very favorite material uh, from which to make pens. And he made the section out of that same Ebonite. Same with Matthew's pen. It's an acrylic, and he made a section out of acrylic. So typically, that's what Jim has been doing. Yet here, he's got stainless steel. And he used that same color process to take this nib right here. And he went ahead and did his color process. So he matched that color with the finial and with the clip, with the section. Very nicely done. I, I like what he's done. And you can definitely tell the weight difference when you pick this pen up and you hold it. So I'm looking forward to see what else Jim does uh, when he goes to change um, maybe some of his pens up for his different models to start using uh, something of a metal instead of using an acrylic. Some people like it. It is a smooth uh, stainless steel. Some people don't like smooth sections. To me, I don't mind them whatsoever. I do still like, though, the fact that Jim colored that nicely. Cartridge converter style pen. So you get like a Schmidt type converter that goes in there very nicely. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be um, a nice uh, or a nib unit that comes right out. Just like that. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you all the dimensions of this particular pen. I'm going to play with it some. I'm going to ink it up. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more. And there's how nicely that looks right there. One of the things, i, I got to be honest with you folks, um, I've seen Jim's work over the years, and I've got some of his very early stuff in a drawer behind me. And when I look at his stuff now, compared to the stuff that he did uh, four or five years ago, he's really improved his game. His quality uh, has, has gone up. His styling has gone up. Um, I've just been really impressed of how Jim, as, um, as a pen maker in his processes, in his offerings, have gotten better and better. The acrylics are, are more varied, and the precision in which he's making these, the tolerances that I'm seeing, are getting better and better over time. So I'm just absolutely ecstatic to see my buddy Jim in his progress. And like I said, I look at some of the earlier pens I've got compared to now, so much better looking, so much more professional looking uh, than they were previously. Here's what I decided to do. I went ahead and I wanted to pick a good color. So I went through my Rolodex of all the uh, different inks I've got, and I picked this one out, a Sailor Gentle. And this one is a Yuri Akari, and that's what the, uh, the ink swatch looks like. I thought that might pair fairly well together, so... Let's go ahead and uh, ink that baby up, and uh, 
We'll see how it writes. I expect it to write fairly well. I haven't written with it yet and have not inked it up yet. And I'm just finally getting around to be able to have the time to sit down um, and show you this beautiful pen, the Serene Amethyst. seen all the dimensions and statistics you probably want to know about uh, the Jim Hines B24 uh, with this beautiful amethyst serene serenity amethyst uh, let me show you what it looks like how it stacks up size wise to a few other pens so there's an Omos 360 that I've got laying around and is inked up Mont Blanc 146 I don't have this one inked up, and I don't know as I ever will again. I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, but uh, the Twisby Go. And a Pilot Metropolitan. And you have to have a Pilot Metropolitan when you're doing size comparisons. I do believe it's international treaty that uh, states that you kind of have to. So let's get these out of the way. One of the things I like about Jim's pens, and quite honestly, one of my favorite of his so far is still this, uh, this one here. Uh, just because of the size of it, and it's mine. You know, this is my wife's pen. This one's not mine, so it can't be my favorite. Uh, but um, I always like the 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 B24 size that he's got. Um, you know, I've got a beacon that's a little bit bigger. Uh, this one here is a, just a little bit bigger. I um, not by much. It's very it's very close. So that might be a, also a B24 size. But I love the size that Jim has come up with uh, for these particular pens. They fit great in my hand. They really do. And I, I've always enjoyed uh, Jim's, you know, a little bigger, a little girthier, a little... Uh, I, I can't necessarily call them oversized, but close to being considered oversized. If you wanted to post it, you can. If you want to have, like, a near baseball bat. And it is a, it's a big cap with, you know, some... Uh, a little bit of heft to it, so you probably don't want to do that. It... it, it it's a little unwieldy to try to do that. Uh, so I like it just as it is. This does front weight it uh, a significant amount. This uh, using a stainless steel as opposed to using the acrylic, uh, which is not a bad thing, by the way. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and, and write. And I expect a pleasurable writing experience on a Rhodia dot pad. So this is the Heinz. Pens, and it is the Serene Amethyst. It was a limited edition. And it was only available through Drum Ghouls. I don't know if they have any of these pens left. Like I said, there were only 15 of them. And I did manage to get in before they ran out of them. Like I said, this was number 11 out of 15. So, don't expect a lot of flex out of this thing. It's a fairly rigid nib. You will get a little bit of line variation if you like that and you want that. And it's a fairly wet writer. So, if you wanted to put into some, like, the Sailor gentle and this one here is called the Yuri Akari you're gonna get a nice smooth writing experience and this little heavier little weightier uh, section does help bring a little more to that pen to write on its own so just letting the pen itself the weight of the pen only without pressing down the only time I press down is up here when I wanted to get some line variation for the most part I just let the pen rest against the page so it's actually fairly pleasant and smooth 
the only thing I will say about uh, this pen, you know, as Jim gets better and better, and he's come up with better looking pens as well, better quality, um, and doing some exclusives with some other uh, companies, uh, some vendors that are going to be hosting him for uh, like uh, product takeovers or a, uh, a a supplier takeover of their store and offer exclusive offers like this through his store. You, you're going to start getting into the limited edition price scheme. So this is about a $250 pen. Yeah, it, it's not cheap. $250. But you get some decent quality with it. Um, and we've got this absolutely gorgeous resin. I mean, look how beautiful. That is a really good looking resin. You get that little bit of blue in there, you know, kind of like a, a, almost like a diamond cast here. Um, just absolutely gorgeous looking pen. I almost want to keep it for myself, but it was for my sweetheart. And now that I've inked it up, and I'm going to you know, hand it over to her and let her go to use it. Uh, hopefully she'll make good use of it. Oh, and uh, Although she's probably not going to take it to work with her. Now, granted, her work is almost done for the year because she works in kindergarten. And you certainly don't want to have a, little, a bunch of kindergartners touching a nice, fine writing utensil like this. All right, I can't uh, give you any discount codes for Drom Ghouls. Uh, so if you wanted to get this particular model, you could only get it there. But it should give you an idea of the kind of quality that you can expect from Jim. So you can go to HeinzPens.com. Like I said, 15% off your purchase there. Use discount code TROY. If you see Jim at a pen show, let him know that you heard about him from me. Um, and uh, who knows, maybe, uh, you know, maybe he'll cut you a deal. I don't know. Jim's always been good to us. Um, I love Jim and Elise. I, I say that earnestly. I'm very fond of them both. Uh, so full disclosure... Uh, you know, I do consider them friends, not close friends, but still pen friends, and we, we uh, have a good real working relationship and hopefully a good personal relationship as well. I look forward to spending some time with them at the upcoming pen shows, and hopefully you can get a chance to go out and go to a pen show, meet Jim, uh, and hopefully Elise when she gets to, to make her way up as well. So um, go to Drum Goals as well. Uh, and spend some time on their website. It's definitely worth uh, visiting their website for some of the pens that they carry. Obviously, they do more than just Heinz pens. Uh, and uh, check them out at pen shows as well. We've actually gotten some stickers around here that my kids absolutely love uh, that they put on their laptops and such. So, All right, guys. Um, you know, another pleasant Heinz pens experience for us. And we are definitely a Heinz pens family. Yeah.